Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Stan's Cakes back in the building again with another review, as you see right here in front of you, uh, a Jordan 1 in black with a Nike red swoosh. So, before I go any further, hey, I just want to let you guys know, thank you very much. I hit 200 subscribers, a little over 200. And for those who are subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for supporting me. It means a lot to me and my family. And also, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button over here. Leave a comment below over here and give me a thumbs up what you think about my reviews. And check out my other reviews on my channel. Really appreciate it. Now, I got these off a of GOAT. I missed the drop. Um, and when I checked the resale price on these, it wasn't that bad. So I got these for like $200, a little over um, the retail price. But I got these at a better price because the box is damaged right here. And I'll show you that in the review. Uh, these came from Germany, so I just got these in yesterday So let me start off with this um, So anyway, like I said, you got the standard Jordan 1 box black with the red Nike swoosh up the top um, The damage right here as you can see, which I ain't tripping who cares about a box and As you see all the details around Now description Air Jordan 1 retro high OG DK marina blue black white so let's pop off the lid now legit you do have the stamp that lets you know it is from Nike right there let's pull back the paper and there you have it set this here let's set this here there's nothing extra inside the box. So we're gonna set this down over here. Now, just to let you know now, I do not own the Royals that came out a few years back. So I can't really do a comparison. But since this is my first time ever owning a pair of these, um, I like these, that's my opinion, because blue is my favorite color. Now, uh, I'm gonna set this to the side over here and we're gonna use this one because it has the extras. So let's start with the toe box. The toe box itself has the dark marina blue going all the way around. And that is very soft leather. Um, the black at the top, I describe it like lightning because when you press down on it, you can see the, the leather starting to crack up. And then when you let go, it goes away. Very nice soft leather here. Very well perforated hole for breathability. The Going around the lateral side, the panels continue on with the marina blue all the way up to the eyelids. Very nice soft leather here to the wings very nice detailed stamp Jordan wings here you have the Nike switch is slightly perforated uh, leather very soft the black panels man that's really soft it's almost like you ever on a what is it lambskin coats how they all how they really soft this is how lambskin feel it just that's the best way I can describe it now going around to the back of the shoe you have a smooth marina blue that covers your ankles your heel, I mean, all the way up to the top, which goes to the collar. The collar is black leather. That is soft too, slightly stiff. You have the collar, which also has the um, very nylon fabric material here, which is well padded for your ankles. Your tongue, which is a uh, ballistic nylon, all the way up to the blue Nike swish pad tag with the Nike in white on the back. Very soft padded nylon material here inside. You have the insoles in white with the Nike swoosh in, in blue on the uh, medial side, which will continue. Same material, blue meridian here for the wings, back of the, your ankle, the Nike swoosh tumbled, very soft black lambskin material. That's the best way I can describe it, y'all. Your midsoles all in white, so you already know that's going to get scuffed up. So as soon as you start bumping into something, it's going to get scratched up. So. If you got your rejuvenators or crepes or whatever kind of clean material, keep them on standby because you're going to need it with the white stitching also going around, all the way around from the lateral side to the medial side to the toe box. The bottom, I think this is going to look nice because if it gets dirty, it's easy to clean and the colors will always stay the same. Maybe a light, slight dingy, but not as much, but that nice traction that we all well known from Jordan to have for better, better uh, stopping, turning etc etc now the shoestrings nothing special meridian blue shoestrings the aglets 
You don't have any chrome caps or anything on the top. They're just basically your standard plastic. And the shoestrings that I, if I hadn't mentioned before, you have the meridian blue, you have the black, and you have the white. Now I'm gonna, me myself, the two choices of shoestrings I might go with is the meridian blue or the white. Black, I'm gonna hold off on that one. The white does make the shoe pop to me. So that's what I'm going to try to um, use for right now because I think it stands out better that way. And also it enhances the midsoles. Now, like I said, I got these off a of goat. I got them for like $200 with shipping on it, brought up to like 240 something. The resale price on these right now is good. So if you are in the market to buy these and you can't find them after doing your footwork, check with GOAT, check with StockX. If the price go down even further, hey, kudos, get them then. If not, try to get them before it gets up there because right now, like I said before, the resale price on these are not that high. Now, today is Saturday. I missed out on the Cardinals. Rookie mistake. I overslept and I should have got up when I, they dropped. But, oh well. Two out, of, two out of three is not bad. The reason why I say two out of three, I do have the Royal Blues coming. I got them off for trade block. So they should be coming sometime soon by next week. And I can do a, a review for you on those, for my opinion. I also have another review coming up in this bag here from Foot Locker. You'd be surprised what it is. I kind of like this one. And if you guys get a chance later on tonight, I'm going to do a live podcast with uh, HQ from the 12 Hub, which is now known as uh, HQ, Q. And me are going to talk have some very good topics um if you get a chance join in um you know hey uh, we're going to talk about sneakers we're going to talk about anything else you want to talk about and uh the topic uh, i'm kind of on the fence on which topic i want to use but i'm gonna try my best like i say wish me luck this is my first time doing it and um i think that's it on the review of the marina blue jordan ones uh, like i said i like them get them now if you get a chance the prices are good and uh go from there Oh, did I mention that the, the color pattern is also similar to the pollens? I do got the pollens. I never, I think I did a review on them. And I think between, I like this a lot better. Uh, both of them, both of them. I like the color pattern. It gives it something different. That's all I can say. So anyway, if you get a chance, check out my um, Instagram page. It's uh, distinguished underscore kicks. Check out what the pictures I got for my sneakers. And also if you get a chance, you know, Hey, leave a picture or two there of your own sneakers. Let me know what you um have, what you, what your, what your, what's your grail? That's mm -hmm. what I should say. But yeah, that's a good, that's a good comment. Leave below. What is your grail? That's what I want to know. What is your grail? And what do you think about the Meridian Blues? And um, I think that's it, y'all. So I'm gonna end the review on that one. So like I said before, I'm always at the end of my reviews. Sorry for stumbling. Um, be safe out there. Okay, be blessed. And like I always tell all my reviewers, aim for something or you're going to miss everything. All right, I'm, I'm going, y'all. Have a good weekend. Peace.